management information systems after knowing data, information, knowledge, and how data warehousing and data marts are used for management information systems. Let's see how we make our system intelligent and how our business can progress with business intelligence and decision making. The few conceptual overview for management information systems in business intelligence and decision making. Now, what is business intelligence? As you see the diagram over here, at the bottom are the transactional processing systems, that is the TSPs, ERP, enterprise resource planning, and the general systems. We have planning, budgeting, and forecasting, management reporting, and CRM, and SCM. This is supply chain management and CRM. Now, on top of that, there is a layer called web-enabled business information delivery and business intelligence tool. And on top is the finance, senior managers, department managers, and executive boards. So how does business intelligence come into picture? As we all know, transaction processing systems, ERP, and general systems they are small data marts or small systems that are designed to complete a particular task in one particular unit of an organization. For that, we need planning, budgeting, and forecasting. And then there is a reporting. When all these three things combine together, it makes a complete MIS. Now, how does that complete MIS becomes an intelligent system? And how does it provide us with the intelligent solution for a business? works with if we have a production unit at one end, we have accounts at the other end, and the third part, we have the marketing team. Now, suppose the production produces the best of the results, but the marketing team says that people don't like it. So whatever the production is produced goes down with the financial loss. So the intelligent system says is when I combine the production team, the financial team, and the marketing team together. We should be able to produce the best of the result using the business intelligence on how to produce the best with minimum accounts and gives us the best marketing average. And that can be done using the web-enabled business information that is available, that is a lot and lots of data that is available and the people sitting behind at the data mining tools to extract those information to make those business the intelligent ones. And finally, the decisions are taken by the finance advisors, senior managers, department managers, and executive boards. So this is a layer of business intelligence, but it is a complete turnaround type, turnaround decision where it goes in a complete cycle. The next thing that we see is, is a business analytics. You see, there's a decision making at the top, project management team here at the bottom, and then these three modules, they connect with each other. I have business intelligence in the center. We have model that makes this business intelligent one, and there's an actionable information. You have data warehouses and data marts, which are linked with data analysis and data mining report warehouse and document marts, which are linked with knowledge management. We will see how knowledge management is done in the next presentation of the video. So here we have warehouses and data marts, reports and document marts, and in between is the intelligent business. If we are able to provide something which gives the best production with less cost at the best marketable price, then that actionable information makes our system the intelligent one and the data can be collected from the warehouses and marts and the reports reflect that whatever decisions we've taken, they give the project management the best of the output. Now, these are the few stages of business intelligence. We have data sourcing as a first stage which says that extracting electronic information from text, images, databases, media files, and web pages. So these are the sources of information from where we can extract knowledge and make our system 
and business and intelligent one. And on that sources or the data that we've collected, we have data analysis, that is that synthesize the useful information from collected data using data mining. That is wherever the blank spaces or the dirty data or the data which does not make sense for our business can be removed. The next one is a situation awareness. Now, what do you mean by situation awareness? Linking the useful facts and inferences, inferences and filtering out the relevant information. That is, if we have a lot of data sets or data available to us at different sites, so whichever data that makes sense to us should be linked with each other. Risk analysis, identifying the reasonable decisions on the risk. That is, if we have done production at a very larger stake of money and the marketing department says that gives us a zero profit or a very less profit, then that risk analysis should be done at the beginning. It's like we are trying to launch a high big brand of a car in some village where, some rural area where it's difficult for even people to have their bread and butter met. There's no point of having a store over there where people will not be able to utilize it. So we have to have the system or the marketing structure or the business intelligence in such a way that where it can give us the best of the models and best of the earnings. Decision support is employing semi-interactive software and tools for decision and strategic making. All this goes into the continuous process with the advanced inference processes as you see all the loops coming down to the advanced inference processes. Now, what problems do operational data pose for the BI systems is something which is very important. As raw data, usually unsuitable for sophisticated reporting or data mining, as what I said in the previous slide, a lot of dirty data, that is the data which does not make sense to us, you have missing values. We have inconsistent data, that is some columns have 20 columns, some have 1,000, some are 20,000. So there's continuous inconsistent data it does not make sense to us. Data is not integrated, that is one data does not correlate with the other data, that is one column does not correlate with the other column. Wrong granularity, too fine or not fine enough, or too much of data with too many attributes and too many data points where the significance of data is lost. We will see what are all these things in the next slide. Now, the key terms that we need is data granularity, which is the degree of summarization or detailing of data. Coarse data is highly summarized and fine data on with precise details. So that is what we're looking out for. Then there's a clickstream data where customers' website clicking behavior is observed and that really helps in business intelligence. So if you see, our systems have become business intelligent. So whatever you try to search on the web or on the internet, next time when you try to surf again, it gives you the similar kind of advertisements that you had seen or that you were surfing or trying to see it in the previous click. So your every click and behavior is observed. Cause of dimensionality, that is too much of data on too much of rows and columns. If they make the data clumsy, they should be removed and cleansed. Something which is very important for business intelligence is the market basket analysis, where it computes the correlation of items on the past orders to determine items frequently purchased together. So this, you have very frequently observed that when you're trying to buy a product, it gives you suggestions. So it is known as a recommendation system, which says that people who bought this XYZ product also bought the ABC product. So it is recommending maybe you also, on your behavior of clicking that had happened before, this market basket analysis always helps to enhance and increase the business by many folds. Now, what is the role of business intelligence system? It provides the decision maker with the timely data, information, and knowledge for problem solving and problem finding. If due to some big sales, sometimes the site scratches or there's a lot of demand, so people can work on it. Now, past how it helps, it helps 
in decision making a problem solving activity that is reactive approach we use the appropriate management technologies to resolve the current problems as they arise by experience from the past and with the current business intelligence activity as problem solving as well as problems finding so what happens is whatever you've gained from the past you'll be utilizing it in the present scenario so we anticipate the future company problems looking for future opportunities so role of bis is very important as it helps us solve the problem at a very short period of time now when i say business intelligence with the past that we need to try to find a problem solution so we have to have a vision and the actions which take place so for this vision on the organizational context we have mission strategic direction decision making and finally the implementation that happens so for the vision we have mission strategic planning decision making and implementation so project management is very important for that project management to when and how analyticals and analytics and decision making takes place policies goals and objectives values purpose structure policies and environment so we start for the vision is our mission to reach that mission we have strategic direction decision making where the analytical decision from the past and present are taken and then the project is implemented this is shown as a pyramid but it is a continuously looping structure it goes into a continuous process it never stops now decision support system is always very important so here what you see is a database that is a database management system or a data warehouse you have model based management system as mbms which has application models that is online analytical processing online analytical planning transaction processing system and here is the business reporting so whatever model that we make for our business intelligence when it relates to the database how quick how fast is the extract transform and load will be reported and this is how the information technology for the enterprise strategic systems work decisions have to be fast as people need a faster and a quicker solutions happening at every click this is a customer centric intelligent e business this is normal what we see how the e business works we have customer for that customer we have manufacturer retailer distributor supplier and finally the logistics whenever on the e cart or an e business platform you place an order so you have the manufacturer what you're buying you have the name of the retailer who is supplying to you the distributor the supplier is like your small d mart or a data mart from where the data will be picked up and using the logistic it will be delivered to you so all these things communicate so that the customer gets to the product as fast as possible this is the business application in the extended enterprise you have here supply chain management enterprise and resource planning and the customer relationship manager or management application so these are the three things which are there here are the materials and the components at the supplier side the scm applications come into picture the supplier supplies with the strategic applications and erp application for the tactical applications tactical applications are basically those applications where the data is available for that particular part of the time and then you use it intel intelligently to build a better system and then we provide it to the customers and here is a crm so business intelligence basically has scm applications erp applications and crm applications so that the customer gets the best of the deal from any of the business that they are dealing with thank you